I'm scared. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, got one. First cast. <laughs> another walleye. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is up, dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. If you guys are new here, haven't seen my face before. What's up, y'all? My name is Murda. We do lots of like fishing and stuff. Really quick, dudes, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Quit being weird. We're about to hit 69,000 subscribers like today or tomorrow, so. Yeah, that's pretty lit. Anyways, y'all, we're doing a catch and cook today. You can probably see it down below in the title. Uh, we're gonna be catching some walleyes and whatnot. I already went fishing, by the way. I forgot to do my, in or I didn't forget to do my intro. I did an intro this morning and I was just looking at my phone and yeah, I don't think I was recording for it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Actually, I know you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. It's a pretty crazy one, so yeah. Stay tuned. Let's go fishing. <sighs> Yep. All right, dudes. Well, we are all dialed in. Just got a little cheap old crappy gas station jig with just a little six inch paddle tail. But yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I'm all fired up. Uh, hopefully the fish are gonna be doing it today because I wanna eat some fish. That was a crappy cast, but hey, we're gonna send it. Man, look at that. I even got a freaking fluorocarbon leader because I was fishing with, oh, hazelnuts. Okay. Perfect cast. If there's a walleye, I got one. No way. This is a walleye. I was just about to say, if there's a walleye in this spillway, that was the cast to get it on. It's a walleye, for sure. Is that second cast? Watch out, Kev. Daddy's got a walleye. Oh my god. This might be a big walleye. Okay, this might be a pike or something like that. <laughs> I'm scared. Whoa, 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 I'm scared. What's going on here? What is this? This can't be a walleye. Bike? Muskie? Dude. Are you kidding me? What is this? This is huge. Dogfish? Kevin, do we got a dogfish? What the hell? I can't even budge this thing. Big, 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 big. Do we have a muskie on our hands? There's lots of muskies here, here, dudes. I can't even talk. Lots of muskies here, dudes, dudes. Okay, he's kind of coming my way. Kind of coming my way. He's pretty far out there, though. Buddy almost took all my line. Dude, come on. I, I need to at least see this fish. Need to. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's getting close. Let me get some high ground. Dudes, that was second cast. Like, giant fish. Is this a catfish? I actually think this is a catfish. I just felt some some tail action on my line. It's coming to me. What is it? Is it a catfish? I'm gonna freaking freak out if it's a catfish. Like, I'm gonna freak out if it's a catfish. It's a catfish! It's a freaking catfish, dudes! It's a catfish! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dudes, I've been fishing this place my whole life, and I've never caught a catfish here. That was second cast. Monster kitty, Kevin. Kevin, this is like you, but only a cat. You're a dog. This is a cat. Look at this Mondo, dudes. That's a giant freaking channel kitty. I'm gonna try to go for the tail grab, I'm thinking. Yep, got him. Okay. okay. Hopefully you guys can see me, Kevin. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dudes. It's a big old channel kitty in my first ever channel, my first ever catfish at this dam. That is so freaking cool. Kevin, Kev, what do you think of this big fish? She doesn't really care anymore. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for the ride. Oh, he's coming back this way. Wrong way, buddy. <laughs> dudes, that was so badass. Oh my God. Damn, that was cool. Kevin, oh my God, dude. Let's catch another one, Kevin. That's freaking awesome. All right, stay tuned, dudes. Hopefully that happens again, but I'd really like a walleye. Oh my God, perfect. Perfect to cast. Kevin, hey. I just got freaking whacked. God dang it, Kevin. Oh, I got whacked right before it hit the bottom. Kevin, come on, bud. I don't want you swimming to get my truck all wet, dude. Got one. 
Well, I. Well, I. Well, I. Fifth cast. Let's go. This is a well, I. This is a well, I. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful eater well, I. <laughs> That's a fatty, dude. Fatty. Let's go, baby. Come on. Look at that fat little freaking thing. Let me get some water in here. Jesus, I'm all fired up. I about broke my rod. <sighs> I think that was fifth cast, dudes. As long as I can keep making those perfect little casts up against that wall, we should be cooling. I wonder if I have any scissors. I can just slit this freaking fish's throat right now. Let me go ahead, whack its throat, and bleed them out. Oh my God, I'm just fired up, Kevin. Let's do that again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Oh my god, freaking perfect cast. Got one. Instant. The catfish? Or what? Is this a walleye? That, that, it might be a smallmouth. That thing hit me as soon as it hit the water. A bit tricked before though, especially on that wall. The walleyes will sit like suspended on it. Might be a catfish though. Whoa, shit. Hopefully it's a walleye. Oh my god, it's another walleye. It's a beautiful walleye. Another whale. Taking him home. Taking him home. You're coming home with me, bud. What do you think of that? Dude, it's like... Come on. It's another beautiful, probably 18-inch walleye. Freaking hit it. Suspended as soon as my jig hit the water. <laughs> Go ahead. Bleed him out. Honestly, dudes, like, we're solid. If I do get, I mean, when I catch another walleye, I'm probably going to keep that one for sure. And then we might stop after that, because three walleyes is a lot. Like, when I cook up these walleyes today, I'm probably only going to cook one of them. And I'm going to put the rest in my freezer or give them to my mom or something. So, if we catch one more, I'm going to keep it. And after that, we'll probably just do some catch and releasing. Ah. First snag of the day. Switched up the color a little bit, dudes. I don't remember what color jig had I had on, but now I have a chartreuse with a little white six cents paddle tail. Kevin, don't fall in. Hopefully they're doing the white, because I don't think I have any more of the other color that I was using. And that was a pretty decent cat. Got one. First cast. <laughs> another walleye. We got another walleye, Kevin. I can feel I can feel the head shakes. Another beautiful walleye. Dang, man, maybe I should have been using white. Freaking first cast. This might be a little bit better one. It's hard to tell here, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? A muskie just took my walleye. That is like a giant muskie, too. Holy shit. Look at this, guys. Look at this muskie. Are you kidding me? It's like a freaking upper 40 inch muskie. Kevin, no. Kevin, come here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. I freaking hope you guys seen that. I seen it clear as day. Come up and whack it. This is a huge muskie. <laughs> what is happening today? Like, is he gonna hold on? I don't have him hooked. He's got the walleye by the tail. Like, what's he gonna do? If I can get my hands on this fish, I am gonna be freaking pumped. I doubt it though. Like, he's gotta let go sometime. Look at him. He's huge. Kevin, get back. This thing could eat you, dude. Kevin, Kevin, back up. Back up, Kev. Back up, Kev. Kevin. Dudes, am I gonna be able to grab this muskie right now? Are you kidding me? Dude. Kevin? No. Kevin! No! No! He let it go! Oh my god, he's just sitting right there. That was so sick! I, I, I'm pissed he let it go, but I mean, what was I really expecting? Like, I can't believe he held on. I'm shaking, dudes. Like, literally, I'm shaking. Let's see the damage that muskie did to this thing. Shoot, it's honestly, 
Okay, it's pretty bad. What the frick, dude? Get, look at my hands, dude. I'm shaking. <laughs> this isn't. This is the best walleye yet, too. Like, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. We're gonna keep this walleye, like for sure. He's all torn up now. Today is weird. Freaking catching catfish three walleyes three awesome walleyes and then that just happened today's freaking lit dude well i think i'm good on keeping walleye especially after that freaking giant i just kept that's like a freaking 20 incher but i mean honestly if that muskie didn't eat that thing i probably went to kept it but we're gonna send it. okay kevin get down from there every time we come here Kevin climbs way up there and then gets stuck and starts crying. All right, let's get back to fishing. Ah, perfect cast fish on. Got him. First cast again. This one's smaller. It's another walleye though. Definite walleye. Dude, the walleyes are snapping today. If I can grab them, I'm gonna keep them. Watch out, Kevin! No, no! Oh my god! I got him! <laughs> okay. I know I said I was done keeping them, but come on. How can you not keep this walleye? That is a perfect eater. Like, these ones are a little big. Like, normally I wouldn't even keep these, but it's freaking end of the year. I need walleye. I don't have any. I'm, I'm done for sure now, I think. Even if I catch another little one like this. Like, four is a lot of walleye. Little update, dudes. The power pack that's been charging my GoPro batteries, like, is dead. So, uh, my GoPro quit working on me. But, I just got another walleye off camera. And, I'm gonna harvest it. But, yeah. I think we are going to end the fishing part of this video here. Just because it has definitely slowed down a little bit. So, yeah. We're gonna hop in the truck. Drive home. We're gonna go back to the fish and more headquarters. Clean these suckers. And then cook these suckers up. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, you guys are in... Enjoying the video so far? Let's go. Welcome back, dudes. We are back at the Fish and More headquarters. And yeah, I just got my chesty on. We're gonna just film with this just to make it as easy as possible. And yeah. Let's get these freaking walleyes cleaned. I'm fired up. And I think. I am going to rip the electric today. We are going to start with this big old beat up guy first. That is a fat, you know, like most of these walleyes are just little fatties, which is pretty awesome. I'm not going to go too in depth on how to clean these walleyes, but I will show you guys a little bit of the process. I'm going to be starting out at these two fins here. Just going to cut straight down like that kind of come up there just to get this little chunk of meat here and then this is pretty easy i'm just gonna go in here once i give her the beans i'm just going to kind of turn the blade like that and yeah you'll kind of see so right there i just turned the blade now i'm literally just gonna kind of press down my blades are kind of dull but i'm just gonna run it all the way down this fish's backbone bam not too shabby. Same thing with this side. Just once you hit that bone, you just angle your knife and just press down kind of hard. Follow that sucker all the way down. Okay. And shebang. Okay, and also for these big walleyes, I am going to take the cheeks also. Or the cheeks and the walleye wings. Yeah, look at that big old chunk of meat. Just dropped it on the floor. All right, we got the walleye wings, and I'm probably not going to eat those today because I am doing baked walleye. I don't know if I've even mentioned that yet. So I am going to save these for uh, next time I fry some fish or something like that. And then I'm going to need just a regular knife for the cheeks. And if you guys haven't gotten cheeks before, this is all you do. You just poke your knife in here, kind of angle it downwards. And you, you can kind of feel in there, but you just kind of want to cut it like halfway in there. Then you're just going to stick your finger in here and it should rip right out. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, like half of it ripped out there. I'm just going to go in now. Oh, just lost half of it. 
I'm just gonna cut that off and bam that is half of a very delicious chunk of meat right there whoo like if you guys haven't had cheeks highly recommend doing this to your next walleye one more time I'm just gonna come in just like this poke down kind of carve that cheek and once again just kind of poke your finger in there Ooh, this way look at that this one peeled right out of there anyways y'all hope y'all maybe learned how to clean a walleye there i'm gonna go ahead and rip through the rest of these delicious little suckers and yeah we're going to get to cooking actually just like the last catch and cook we did i think it's like nine o'clock a.m right now so i'm probably not going to eat these walleyes till like supper time or maybe lunch probably supper so yeah enjoy this time lapse and then uh later later tonight we'll be cooking up this walleye stay tuned welcome back dudes it is currently nine o'clock at night i I took a little nap today. I went to my mom's, gave her some walleye, came home, started editing, and now we're here. I kind of lost track of time editing, but I'm starving now. So we're going to get this cooking portion of this video done. And once again, not sure if I mentioned it, but we're doing baked walleye today. Literally the first time I have ever done baked walleye on this channel. So yeah. Just to make this as easy as possible, dudes, I am going to be using my chesty again. So filming kind of sucks. Especially she was catching cooks so yeah just got the flays washed off again and i am going to really quick just trim these up a little bit but first i'm going to preheat the oven at 425 all right i'm just gonna trim like all the silver skin and just all the gross looking chunks and i'm also gonna uh get these bones out right here real quick I'm just gonna pretty them up a little bit. We'll talk to you guys for the next process. All right, first things first, dudes. We're gonna take our flays, just lay them gross side up. And when I say gross side, I mean the side that uh, you peel off the skin of the walleye. And we got three ingredients only. Black pepper, some dash, and garlic powder. First thing, we're just gonna take some pepper, lay that on there. Next, we'll rip a little dashes. Uh, a little bit of dash goes a long way, so I'm not going to go too hard with these. Okay, that was, that was kind of hard. Next, we want our garlic powder, and I kind of go ham with the garlic powder. There we go. I like a lot of garlic powder. Just give these a little pat, and now we're just going to flip them over. And we're going to do the same exact thing to these sides. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on the dashes this time. I might have put a little too much on the other side garlic powder okay i am forgetting two more ingredients i wish i had a fresh lemon but we're gonna rip a little bit of lemon juice not a lot right away just like that much you know just get a little just get a little flavor on there when it's done though i use this like to dip the fish in i love lemony walleye and we're also going to take uh just little chunks of butter and i'm going to put like this big piece i'm just going to put like two little chunks on there all right and this is kind of what you're left with. Next, we're just going to kind of fold this up a little bit. I'm not sure how. I think I didn't grab enough tinfoil. You just kind of want to make sure uh, none of the juices can leak out of the tinfoil. I'm going to keep it like this. And then I am going to double wrap this. Roll this up a little bit so that it keeps all the heat in. And I just started doing this, dude, so I'm not like an expert by any means. Who's calling me? Mavi, I'll call you back, Mavi. But anyways, I've read online that you want to cook it uh, like every inch. You want to cook it like 10 minutes. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw this in here for like probably like 12 minutes. Set my timer. And yeah, that's basically it, dudes. Very simple, very fast method of cooking walleyes. Hopefully this batch turns out delicious. We'll uh, talk to you guys once it's done. Check this out. There's a frog on my sliding glass door. Dude, it has been 12 minutes. It smells phenomenal right off the bat. Holy buckets. We're gonna let this sit for like a minute, then we'll unwrap it and see how we did. Okay, I am fired up. I hope this is gonna be bomb. It smells bomb. I hope it's done. Oh my God, it smells phenomenal. looking pretty good we may have used a little bit too much butter but i'm sure it's still gonna be bomb but my mold's water quick close-up shoo 
go ahead, go in for the first bite. We're gonna go for this greasy piece right in the middle. It smells so good. It's freaking bomb. Holy crap. You know what it needs though? Seriously, every bite, I want it just doused in lemon juice. Mm. Like this is bomb and so much different than just the traditional, you know, uh, fried walleye. Oh my God, it's so flaky. It's cooked perfect. 12 minutes, 12 minutes, three fillets. This is up there with top three best baked walleye I've ever had. Like look at how flaky this is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Glad we did this. Stay tuned dudes. I might devour all of this. We'll talk to you once I'm finished up. I need something to drink. Freaking awesome episode, dudes. If I learned two things today, it's use maybe half the amount of butter next time. And then also, I only need two fillets. Two fillets is perfect for me. I am absolutely stuffed. But even though I think we did use a little bit too much butter, still bomb. Like, like fire. Seriously. Anyways, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a freaking crazy one. Like, one of the craziest videos of the summer. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever I post a video. Really quick dudes, early goose and teal hunting uh, opener is this coming weekend. I am fired up so stay tuned for some awesome hunting videos hopefully. Hopefully we can crush on opener. Uh, really quick, check this out. Huge shout out to Big Al's decoys. Freaking best silhouettes in the game. Look at these freaking mallards oh my god we're getting a little bit off track but yeah stay tuned for some awesome duck hunting videos hopefully yeah I think that's it thanks for watching fam peace parental advisory due to unnecessary uh fuck it are you kidding me are you kidding me